Hello. Welcome to our weekly vidcast. We've got myself, Aaron O'Rourke, from the BTWN UK side of things. Also, we've got Mo, also from the BTWN UK side. And we've got Meatloaf, Kurt Logston, from the US. How are we doing, gents? We all right? Great, man. Doing yeah. great, dude. How about yourself? Um, yeah, I'm going to set fire to my car again. Let's not do that, please. No, really. I need to. Well, also, because don't notify insurance. Well, yeah, if the insurance company's listening, I didn't really say that. It was just a uh -uh. figment of your imagination. Yeah. So, yeah, I found out um, my head gasket's probably gone. Um, did, after did, I just threw 900 quid at it to get the clutch and flywheel done. Yeah, I was just going to ask you about that. I think it's time uh, you do get rid of it. and Maybe I'm, start a riot and burn I'm it. I'm not and... going to set fire to it. No, I'm going to be civil about it. I'm going to take it to Switzerland, and I'm going to euthanize it. <laughs> so, that, that's my, that's my plan. Uh, either that or drive to France, and I don't know, maybe start a new revolution or something, I don't know. So, yeah, that, that's, that's my plan. So, I've got a better plan. Yeah, I'll take any idea. Yeah, cool. Drive to Manchester. Yeah. I don't want to do that. Park it. No, no, park it. And get out. But then I'd have walk to the breathe the road, in. Come back. No, walk around, walk the end of the road, and then come back. And then what we'll do is we'll come and get you after it's been robbed. Simple oh, answer. Yeah. Okay. We'll we'll try that. I mean, Kerr can't because he's over there and and. I can work. I'll work some angle out over here. I'll. Uh, yeah. I'll I'll, I'll, unless you've got like a beam me up Scotty device, then. I, I wish I did. Mo can't drive because he struggles with walking. So. Mm. I'll fi we'll figure it out between us at some point. Kate, what's been going on with you, bud? Work, dude. Just been working. Basically, uh, one tour today, and I got to sit there and watch again and again the Skull Experiment, which I've seen a hundred times. Cool. But I really wanted to bone up on you know the topic for tonight and stuff like that. So uh, basically, chill, man. Everything's going chill. Wish I was yeah. rich, but that's never going to happen in my lifetime. And just being honest. Well, there is specialist websites that you can visit. Um, you know, I, I think you've told me about a few already to do with cougars and stuff like that. You might find a rich one. You might find yeah. a rich one. So, yeah, for the what guy? I think, yeah, it, it's it's something like that for Kurt. I don't know, but you know, dude, listen, I wish you all the luck in the world with that because you know, you know, if anyone deserves a bit of luck, why not? Why not you? You know, sugar, sugar mama and all that. Yeah, I'm sure she could. She could. Hang on. She could feed Kurt's you. Kurt's like ninety six. Kurt's ninety odd years of age. How's he gonna get a cougar? Oh, jeez. There's even more specialist websites. It's like almost dead dot com or something like that. Um, All right, guy. Okay, okay, I could go with this. Tonight, right. I'm not gonna. You're not gonna draw me into it. Uh, I am not I gonna be call. drawn into the abuse. <laughs> Overage dot That's another yeah. one. We call yeah. it yeah. We beyond call dead, dead, dead dot com. Beyond dead dot com. Yeah, you could always dig yeah. one up. Adam, Yo. We, we call it um, paranormal investigation. I think Kurt just calls it cougar hunting. No, I think he calls it dating. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's, I'm staying so professional at night. It's going to be sick. We'll take, I, I will take every headbutt, kick to the head, punch to the face, and I'll just smile. Right, okay. Well, I am not going to bomb it like last time. On this side of the water, right, it is now 22.04, right? For anybody who's watching us live at the moment, we, we are taking bets on what time Kate will actually say his first swear word on, on air. Yeah. Mean, Mo, what, what, Mo, what time are you going to go for, mate? Are we looking ah. before 22.30? Or, like, if you're watching yeah. in America, it'll be 15... Uh, no, 17.30... Yeah, I reckon, I reckon if we're going to go American side, I reckon 17, 21. Okay, say... That's say nice my, or why 21? Why, why, my, why such precision? Okay, my question because is real, real quick. In the UK, yes. Uh, yeah. why don't you just say 9 p.m.? Why don't you just say 8 p.m.? Or because 8, half past 8? See, now you're just being pedantic. No, 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 no. Don't, don't get me that. wrong. Don't get me wrong. I'm not, I'm not trying to like put you guys down that. But I give no, you guys credit because we're not brought up Knowing military time, unless you're in the military or police. So what you're saying is, you, uh, America in general struggles with the 24-hour clock. That's fine. No. Okay, no, so no, we'll no, go. No. With, so okay, Mo, why why 
5.21 p.m. Right, why do I pick 5.21 p.m.? Because I think it's a record for Kate to get past 12 minutes, and I'm giving him the benefit of the doubt. And secondly, Kate, why do we say 9 p.m. and 8 p.m.? Because you, say seven, because you say 7, 6, 2015. Like, we care what month it is when we know what day it is. Just yeah, but that's how you do. That's how you operate, though. It's Is like it's it's English. It's always should be. It should be month, day, year. Not not oh, day, month, okay, year. No. That's that's backwards. Played, uh, we understand you what you're there? saying, but I think it's the wrong way to look at it. Now, a lot of people, you know, there might be a lot of people now watching live thinking, what are they talking about? Now, you're saying we go, we should be going month, day, year. But why should you do that? Because obviously you need to know the day. True. Do you know what I mean? And then it's yeah, like... Yeah, fair. Oh, no, no, no. Fair, fair on that. Today. Oh, hang on. Wait. We're also in June. In, and it's in, 2015. So there, there's the three but, things. The three okay, here's... Your here's day. The you know, that goes from there. No, no, I understand. It, it I more than likely, I have sorted your problems. Yeah, well, no. More than likely, we adopted it off, off the English after we kicked their butt up. twice. Twice. We took them to task. A wee baby nation just to crunch, crunch the Great British Empire. We just took it, took, took it to task. Are you going back to that? Are you yeah, still well, I'm going. Actually, I'll hold off on that. And it's, I won't it's, go it's, back to it's, that. It's way, way, way back um, then. We're, we're yeah. now, now the no, present no, no, day, which is the seventh of the. Sixth you're our like days. little sidekick. It's like you're like you're like mini me to the United States. You know, you guys are like such mini me when it comes to military power and stuff like that. We're out there stirring it up, and you guys yeah. will throw like your two cents in, jump back, hide behind us, go back out again, and um, okay. basically, I'm you going nowhere go. quick on this. Let's focus on what we should be doing. No, no, one more thing I've got to say before I leave it. Right, your country is the only country on the planet who can successfully fight with itself and lose. Yeah, but we learned that from the best. Who's the best? You guys were the best. So therefore, we learned from you. We took all our military ideas, special forces from the SAS and everything else, took it from the British, and made it better. Okay, that, you know that, what I'm saying? that is true to a sense, Steve. but you know, you stole an awful lot of the money. Steve, well, well I, wish it was the money. I wish it was the money. It, no, it was, because you, you started by taking the best of our elite forces. Okay, some, may, some people may learn. have... We had to learn from okay. somewhere, right? Yeah, that's very true. Yeah, you've got to learn, and you know, as in previous conversations, you know, it's baby steps. You got to crawl before yeah. you walk. I mean, you went literally from crawling to running because you took like, you 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 basically tapped up half of our armed forces and said, "This we've got we've got people. more milk and cookies over here. What are they giving you? You know, a bit of bread and some water. Mm, you know, where, where's your balance at? So yeah, they've gone. Hmm, I like warm milk. Yeah, they've gone, and then you decide to start like pillaging, like globally. You uh, learned yeah, that you, from you the took them all the gold we bars were... in the whole wide world, in the whole we... known universe, and I've stuffed them into a black bank, into a we... fake bank, and there's only ever been, like I think it's what, two presidents who have actually accessed it and gone, oh yeah, look, there's gold bars in there. Chances are it was a Polaroid. Uh-huh. Right, so... Yeah, Back up a, a sec. Yeah. Anyway, right, forget about you, like America being the biggest thieves ever. Mo, what are you not going to you, not? dude? We own you guys, basically. Minus your economy. We own you. Do you know what, Rafe? I don't mean to sound... I don't mean like I'm going to drag this conversation on, but I have to agree with Kay, considering that Rockefeller owns 75% of the world's debt. And why is that? <laughs> why is that? <laughs> why is that? Why is that? Money. Because him and his family Money. nicked everything. Well, what's been happening with you, dude? Oh, well, news I can talk about and news I can't talk about. Let's see. Can talk about... Well, the cans would be better. Okay, um... <laughs> Well, I've got a bit of a plan. It involves our side of the water. Now we investigate. Um, God, I can feel a headache coming on here. Is it going to really, hurt? No, it's actually going to make us um, really, rich. really... No? Well, come on, are you kidding me? No one gets rich. Yeah, Except Obama. for Rockefeller and Obama. Both of them are paranormal. Though. And One Thatcher. Is... She's dead, Thatcher, no one cares. Not... Yeah, but she yeah, was rich anybody... anyway. No, she wasn't. She was just worth dancing on when she died. Or Princess Ooh. Diana. Hey, I do have a joke for you before we uh, you know, move you on. Can't, you can't. That's distasteful stuff. Uh oh, this is actually pretty good. Go on, <laughs> What's the last thing that went through Princess Diana's mind before oh. she died? Oh. Right, this, 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 I'm just going to go out on a limb here, right? <laughs> this is Kate Logston's view only, not the rest of the BTW <laughs> people. Okay. 
And it's no curse words. What's the last thing that went through her mind before she died? Steering wheel. <laughs> now the windshield. <laughs> As a patriotic Englishman, I find that very t- distasteful. <laughs> and not, not at all funny. I find it quite oh. funny, actually. <laughs> Mo is hiding. Oh. Well, he, who told me the joke? I got. I had to oh. learn it from somewhere, right? And this guy probably, report, probably yeah. Mo. Who's Mo? He's done it. So any, anyway, Mo, what, what's these, what's these good things? The what's these good? Oh, no, he's God. just assassinated himself. If Lizzie gets wind of this, uh, he, he's going to be my, one. He's going to be a corpse. Right, it's Mo, myself. Yeah. Back to, back to your your good plan. Right. If, if my good plan. I can't. I, I can't divulge a lot of information, but I have an intention of doing something totally different, so totally selfless to others as a group. Um, and I'm not going to get into it because I do know out there that there are people who have a tendency of trying to copy off people because you don't know how to do That's like giving me a bacon sandwich and then taking it away. No, Aaron, you'll love it. You will love it. Right. Um, but all, all I'm going to say with regards to it is because there's people out there who would happily pillage people's ideas and put them through as their own, and there's also people out there who are just in this for nothing but the attention and nothing but to show people how much they... In, to give mm-hmm. themselves self-importance, we're not going to fall into that category what we're going to do. And what my plan is, it's going to be totally and utterly selfless, right? It's going to be a bit risky, but it's also going to be totally legal. Mm. Oh, and I was, I was looking forward to dressing up like a ninja there as well. <laughs> yeah, my tactical SWAT gear on. In this situation, you can dress up as whatever the hell you want. Ninja Turtle. Kinky little character. If you want to be a Ninja Turtle. Ninja Turtle. Yeah. I'd be Donate- Donatello, I like hitting people with sticks. I want to be a housewife. I'll just want to dress up as like Evie Brit of um, Desperate Housewives. Why not? Cool. It's so this is the nice. horror story for the week. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, in the dress. Um, let me just log into that. Um, get back into the chat room. I've just been kicked off the chat room by my own stupidity. But yeah, nothing scary new for me. Um, well, nothing really I can talk about at the moment. The only thing I can say is all the connects that we've got have all been modified. Um, all the video from our last investigation now is ready to be grabbed. Um, we'll be getting loaded. And what else? Yeah, that's it. We've got an investigation coming up on the 4th of July. So while Kate's um, celebrating whatever the hell has country done that day, um, we're going to... Stole Mexico's fireworks. <laughs> Stole Mexico's fireworks. <laughs> A lot of people say it's scares. It's not. It, it's stills. <laughs> I did you don't guys, say a word did, about this. Uh, go ahead. Did you, guys, did you guys rob the Independence Day as well? Yeah, no, someone had already, someone had already pre-written that and, and like left it on a park bench and some dude with a weird hat on and a straggly weird beard apparently came along and went, ooh, look, I'll have that. No one, sure. You Yoink. want to celebrate? Took it and then stuffed it in a local July. museum. Yeah, I'm celebrating the 4th of July this year. It was not just the day that we celebrated America's Independence but it's a day we fought back. I'm not for once. That record. <laughs> for <laughs> once. You just used an Independence Day quote in your Mickey Take to yes. get there. Very really, nice. Really. Very nice. Yes. That was good. Well, I, I, I actually enjoyed that one. Yeah. Good one. Oh, good but one. yeah, no, uh, where, where the paranormal side's concerned for me, this, this week's been really slow. I haven't done much, to be fair. I've just been sort of... Um, you know, when you... Ju- Oh, there's just too much going on. I keep rejigging our website. Um, also, as well, for people who want to pay attention, yay. For those who don't, then go to to you. We've um, we now officially have a podcast. The podcast is up and running. We're nine shows in on the podcast. I've released seven of them. Two of them I'm keeping to one side until I can get them into a chronological order. Uh, but tonight's show will be on podcast by tomorrow. I do have uh, a question about that. Go for it. Is it readily available on iTunes? Yes. There we go. That was easy. It is also streamable. Um, we also... Is that the slimmed down the... version? Sorry, no, streamlined. Sorry, got it wrong. Slim down? There's nothing slim down about me, mate. I'm sorry. No, I meant... Sorry, go on. We digress. Yeah, I'm born this tubby. Yeah, um, <laughs> it, it's, it's, obviously, as I said, it's totally downloadable from iTunes. But it's... I'm going to try and get it through a few other mediums as well, so it's going to go through a few other outlets like SoundCloud, for instance. It's going to be going through that in a week's, week's time. So, Sweet. Yeah, we'll blow this. Sweet. Nice. So, okay. Yeah, it's, it's been quite a bad normal side, but me... Yeah, Mo, you're having a few issues with your sound there, mate. Hell yeah. Tell me my computer just wigged out on me. There you yeah. go. Is that better? Kick it. 
Okay, okay. Generally yeah, works for me. Sounds good, dude. Sounds all right. Yeah. Right. I mean, obviously, you know, we we tend to have a guest uh, to have a laugh and a joke with, you know, do some serious stuff with. Also, this week we don't. So, what are we going to be actually doing today? Right. Go on. So I think what what the plan is, we're not just going to sit here and take the mick out of Kurt for an hour and a half because you know last time oh. he, when we went off air he, he, he cried a bit you know and he, he, he kind of like emasculated himself slightly no and I, I paid the prostitute to give him a hug you know yeah, didn't she give you the money back and run <laughs> yeah she said to, Does that, she'll do anything for Kurt but she won't do that oh I don't know if that went in the cheese category or that was in yeah, the funny was... category I don't know it was funny Gorgonzola there. Gorgonzola. <laughs> <laughs> bit, bit of brie, maybe. For God's sake, I nearly swore then. For Jesus' sake. Yeah, he did well, though. Hey, did it have yeah. I beat the record so far, officially? Not even close. No. no. Well, yet. I didn't curse. I didn't curse. That was the you, whole bet. You, 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 even when we had Keenan O'Keefe on the other week, mate, you, you, you got through the majority of the show without saying any cursing words. Because you you didn't say an awful lot, but then when it counted, what did you do? You started talking about his genitalia. Um, uh, let me explain right. that to everybody that's listening out there. In my defense, since I do not have a defense on here, um, basically <laughs> I was asked. Uh, there's a term used, uh, you know, Aaron and uh, Mo, you know, are scouts, and um, they, you know, like any regional accent or dialect, they have it. It's one of the hardest ones, I swear, to copy. As Americans, we tend to love the Mary Poppins. We love, tend to love the Cockney accent. Oh, but the there's essential. No, you, you yeah, the the yeah, no, 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 I know. And what happened was um, we had Dr. Kieran O'Keefe on, who was epic guest, epic guest, mm -hmm. and they asked me what a text was. No, Here's no. what happened. Kex. What was it? Hex? Kex. 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 Okay. okay. Ask me what Kex were, and he he told me directly. And this is this is I have people here, even though they're bashing me. They are no, my witnesses. I, I will say say where you are right and wrong on this. By the way, I will defend you where where you. Where where the would you defend me? Uh, on the, I had no clue. No, that's. And then true. I had to run off at my mouth at the same time, which you know I'm not doing right now, minus the bad joke, and that was in poor taste, and I apologize. Only do the British, the Americans were all laughing over here. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> but aside aside from that, I, I I dropped the ball. I admit it. I dropped the ball and said, or both, or both. Oh, well, well, yeah, oh, oh Jesus, that this is where it gets bad. And I'm not gonna curse. It really didn't take any cursing or anything. He goes, "You're not gonna touch my kex." And Amer as a, a typical American, I'm like kex, and I'm thinking to myself, I said balls, okay. And then he just looked at me, and then I said, "No, wait, you're Johnson." And then I'm not going to do any more anything, any hand gesture that I did. And I, yes, I did do that, and I admit it, and I apologize to anybody who was offended, but probably not too offended from the look of these guys, because they had a look of shock and a look. Of, it's shock and awe, dude. I'm an American. I live live by shock and awe and blitzkrieg. That's basically how we live lives. <laughs> we'll we'll steal some German in it too, but uh, yeah, I, I, and you know I apologize for that. In this show, I'm not gonna curse. I told one bad joke in bad taste, well, in their country, but aside from that, I'm not gonna curse. I smile. Technically classed as racism, I suppose. Well, their country. The, well, the, the sound in your voice, it, it's it, it's yeah. shocking. Nah, well, Princess Diana, dude, she was smoking, dude. I'm not going to lie to you. Dude, she was loved over here. Oh, my God. We, we sat isn't going to agree, and Lizzie may be not in, in agreement neither, but she, to be fair, in all seriousness, do you know what? The amount of work that that lady done for, for various She's brilliant. charities. Was, brilliant. Um, She's brilliant. And I admit it. She is brilliant, but it was worthy of a good joke. You know, and she was brilliant. I mean, she did. I mean, she went to these countries that had all these mines, and these country kids or poor kids are getting their feet mines. blown off. Mines or this, depending on what. Was it? Yeah, she went to America a few times, didn't she? 
Yeah, I mean, she, yeah, I mean, so basically, yeah, I get all respect for that lady. But okay, I don't so have respect for her. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to twist this whole thing around. I tried to hold that joke. I got it, but it's not, it's not working. But I have yet to say <laughs> her for it. No, oh, uh, dude, did you just say the mf -er? No, me. Mo Mo oh, I wish I could rewind that. Mo said th no, I said this isn't going to podcast. We, we'll oh, we'll have to on. look at it. We'll have to watch this bit back. I think just to double check. Because oh. you know? if so, I think you won't get some money. Yeah, that's what Maybe. I'm waiting for. Mo, you're richer than I yeah. am, dude. I'll tell you that right now. That's pure <laughs> poor, and poor as hell anyway. Then. So you're actually an action man. Oh, right, 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 right. I'm sorry. <sighs> My son's action man. He's got more money than you. I'm sure he does. And he I'm doesn't not, pay I'm taxes, though. No. He doesn't pay taxes. <laughs> it's alright. Neither yeah. do you, so it's alright. Like father, like son. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Even I have to pay taxes, dude. I'm in the same boat, bro. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, it's got a big hole in the bottom. Yeah, it does. It's sinking quick. <laughs> Get your book. Oh, okay, let's Aaron. move on. Let's move yeah, on. Let's, and do let's, let's move swiftly on before, you know, we all... We all... It, it goes downhill, yeah. Let's move yeah. on to the news. <laughs> yeah. Mo, have you got anything that, that's notable? Oh, hell, I've got something that's noticeable. I'm oh. going to show people... Um, I'll do a screen share on this. Let me just bring it up on screen share. Um, ready. Ready. Shut up. For everybody who's watching the screen now, if you look very closely at the screen. I keep Mo, your closer and it's getting a lot better. I keep seeing Aaron closer and closer as I'm looking in close to. Is that the new version? Is that the one coming out? No, you'll love this. That's what started it, yeah? Okay. You pull it and it's getting better, Mom. There you go. That's a, a, like, so a, a final <laughs> blueprint. That looks like the Titanic right there, right before it sank, if you look at there the mini go. port. Nice. Gets better. It's one of the first rough handheld versions that's finished. Who's getting a hold of that? Let me ask you guys real quick. I'm I'm not familiar. Right. Mo's up to date on this. Who's getting a hold of this, Mo? Um, paranormal wise, TV wise, or anybody? Do we know yet? Ghost Asylum. Okay, um, I'm waiting for that because I'm waiting for the third season to come out now. Is it okay. Ghost? Is it Ghost? Is it Ghost Asylum or Ghost Stalkers? Sorry, um, the Texas Raid crew. Oh, oh, that's Ghost, Ghost Asylum. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. You're right. Those guys, they're getting a hold of one. Um, hopefully us, we're getting a hold of one. I don't care about everybody else. No offense. <laughs> so, yeah. okay. Hey, I'm, hey I, I like everybody else. You can here's be hateful. The, here's the best part, right? This piece of software which is running on this guy's Mac, um, when you oh. get any evidence you pull through, any audio or EVP or any anything... Evidence-wise, when you plug it in, it doesn't rely on software built into the unit or software on your computer. It'll, it'll upload it to a server, is it and you can share it. Is it Wi-Fi? Is the whole thing? I can't remember. Was it Wi-Fi? Wi no, it runs through a cable. You run it through a USB cable, but it, it correlates your data on the internet with other people, so other people can actually see what you post, and you can obviously oh, upload it. You can ask smart. people. It so, it has its, so there is like its own database for it to share its own information with with other users at the same yeah, bit of equipment. So, you could, so if you're like us, and you don't take offense to this, Adam, but if you, you're like our team where we, we kind of struggle to get everybody to actually look at the evidence that we collate, um, with this type of software and with this online software, other people can view it. What That's offensive. Okay. <laughs> hey, I didn't say a word. That's offensive. I How much do time do you sit down? How much time do you actually sit down with everybody else? Aaron to uh, go over the information, and you I got to worry about my own stuff. You want like I'm total gross time. Gross time, yeah. In life. In okay, so oh, we've no, been, we've I'm been not going in. A couple life. of years now. A good couple. We've been going a good few years now, as yeah. uh, firstly here in Liverpool. Yes. Now, um, between uh, blah, blah, beyond the white noise, I don't know why I said between. Um, okay. Between the white noise. For a rough estimation, maybe about five. A lot. Six minutes? Yeah. <laughs> Seven? Oh, that threw me, dude. That threw me. That was awesome. That, that threw me. <laughs> no, I was expecting like never. 500 hours or something. He's like, yeah, five, six minutes. Hey, I'm know, actually yeah. working on that, to be fair, because I know Boris does do an awful lot of that on his own. Um, <clears throat> but it's because of the size of the... An awful lot of, on his own. Um, you know, I've got like 
55 kids in, in, in our house and it, it's just it, it's fine to have the time to do that. It's like a child catcher. We've got loads of kids. Well, anyway, back to this piece of equipment, right? As I was saying, it allows you to put your data up. So if you are either a single entity in a group or if you are a full group, you can put your data up there and other people can review it for you. And as a, as a, as a simple concept, that's that's really good because not that's everybody brilliant. can get to do. And you might be get somebody who goes, right, well, I hear this. And you can... It, it, Imagine having a piece of evidence, passing it to a load of people, and at the end of it, a load of people get together and go, right, we think it says that. See, now, I, the... I do have one question to do with that. Um, oh. Obviously, you'd have your own you, you, your own user ID for, for that particular that's website, true. yeah? Linked into the ghost arc itself, yeah. Yeah, but th that's what I'm saying. So any evidence produced from, from say, like, if, if we've got one of those, any evidence produced from our one would be underneath our... ID. ID. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So no one could just basically say, "Oh, that's a good bit of evidence. I'm going to take that." No, no. And have a way with it. Well, put it this way: things like YouTube, the algorithms with YouTube, and the algorithms that a lot of these upload sites. As as um, Stephen Foy in our chat room right now knows, um, sometimes we have to deal with copyright, and when copyright it bites us on the backside quite a lot, and we have to argue copyright before we can get away with it. So the algorithms that are used online now to stop people using your audio or data are really strong so all you'd have to do with something like that is if you if a duplicate appears if you can contest it like for instance if a duplicate appears on youtube you can contest it mm. so once what it once it's yours it's yours and i think it's really good and for the final picture so it stops plagiarism as well and truly then oh yeah, he's a, look at him mouse is awesome him. he is suave Good guy. I have a question going back, Mo, to what we had right there. If I were to post my information in there, could you and Aaron see it? If I wanted yes. you guys, let's say one day I'm, you know, I'm out and I want to see what your guys take. Would you be able to see it? And plus, I get instant feedback also from you guys too, right? Is that correct? Yeah, yeah you can do that. that. That's something you can do straight off the bat. Um, and for people who are listening to us on the pod on the podcast at the moment, it's. The picture that I've got up on the screen at the moment is of um, a guy with oh, somebody's got a MacBook open, and on the MacBook on the screen it's got a um, looks like an EVP waveform, but it's better when you look really closely. This is going to be really pixelated, but just look at this. There, EMF Pavalia. Oh, dude, Pavalia Island. That's just when you get your tallywhacker out and show people how cool you actually are when you go somewhere like that to test your equipment. So Morris is cool. the first one to bring things into the gutter. Okay, we're doing well. Yeah. Okay, you've got no, three minutes. Minutes. Oh. I've been pretty good. I'm actually pretty good yeah, tonight. Done all right. So yeah. pass on. Right, whatever. Hit you So yeah, my my piece of news is what was on paper has actually now developed and used. He's tested it. Um, the ghost arc's been tested. It's run apparently really well from what we've heard and from what correspondence we've had from the guys over at Ghost Arc, it's doing really, really good. So it won't be long before that's a dream that's realised. So do we, do we have a possible release date on that? They said initially uh, May. They changed a few things around. Um, and then that's the right, there was a few um, adjustments that needed to be made to it, wasn't there? You were dropping new microphones into it, for instance, um, yeah. things like that. They, they put the 6 hertz microphone in, which is for really, really low or low audio, low hair trait audio. So the little fine tunings pushed them back a little bit. But if I had to wait for something to be better, I think it's waiting. People wait for the iPhone yeah. because they knew, they knew the, no, the new iPhone 6 was going to be brilliant. And so, it set itself on fire. Okay. <laughs> it apparently bent in, in your pocket, kind of awkwardly. But yeah, nevertheless, when you look at a piece of equipment like this, what these guys have done, and you think, hang on, I want it now, I want it now, and then they go, well, we're going to do something else and make it better. Right, I don't mind waiting for that. That that works for me. So, so, so do you, from a ahead, tech geek, sorry. sorry, dude. From a tech geek's point of view, right, which you readily admit your ammo, yeah. Indeed, you know, it's. Yeah. I mean, there's you, you're like a kid waiting for that new toy. Yes, but I can patiently wait for that. That's what because I mean. So it's it's it'd be yeah. more than worth the wait. So can can I just say one thing on the subject, right, for everybody out there who's not 100 percent on the ghost arc? The Ghost Arc as a piece of equipment, I think it's going to be absolutely revolutionary because it's got so much behind it that you, what you carry in a bag, what we take places out of me and you, we, we've got bag loads of stuff. Oh, yeah. Can, fit, can just fit into your pocket. So okay. I think. And there's two, from what I remember from interviewing the guys from Alessandro saying to Massimo, there are two versions. What were the two different versions? Can you remember? 
It just right, hit me. Real, right, the one is the, just the standard Ghost Ark, and there's a Ghost Ark Hunter's Pack. And the okay. Hunter's Pack comes with, like, headphones and, um, I think it comes with headphones and SD card. It comes with a load, a load of stuff to, to run out. I think it might come with a speaker, if I remember correctly. I'm, I'm going okay. by memory, but that, that's what I remember about it. And put it this way, I'll end the conversation on this. I want one. Guys, if you don't give me one, I'm coming for you. Just so with, with, with the adjustments that, that Massimo has made on, and... You know that they've made on that, you know, yes. um, and this what sounds like it could be straight out of a Call of Duty downloadable content pack. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you know, obviously there's got there's going to be like maybe other ports in there. So if you did want to use a, a different type of microphone, you could. Or yes, you there is an external there's an external mic port. They've made it. Um, and from what I was told by Alessandro on the last interview that we done with those guys, the um, the Ghost Ark is capable of expansion. It's going to be always capable of expansion. They are already planning something to do when they do the second one, if you remember correctly. If they're planning to do it, um, I'm sure they said they were planning on something for the next one. So I'd, I'd never expect this to be all they release. I've seen things like this come and go, you know, when pieces of equipment are, like, used or when people... Yeah, I mean, so, like, this say, like, apps on. like Echo Vox and stuff like that, they come out and, you know, people are going, oh, yeah, this is the business, this is the business, and then it's discovered that yeah. there's all kinds of libraries of little... Bits little of hidden things, things and, stuff, you know, yeah. and it just... The one th- for some people, it takes the away the credibility that, of it. Yeah, the one thing with this that caught me is when you look at apps, for instance, like the Echo Vox, where, you know, it's, it's randomised audio. Um, it's not exactly... There's no true when, audio, is there? Yeah, well, it's from what from what I've been told, um, where the Echo Box is concerned, the the audio that's been pre-programmed into it is from an audio book, apparently. Whereas with this, everything they've done, they've built themselves. They haven't had to get something and cut it up to do it. Mm-hmm. Um, and when I've asked Massimo and I've asked Alessandro, I have asked them some pretty in-depth questions with regards to this piece of equipment, and they have answered me right. Every time they've given me the right answer, they've gave me the accurate answer, they've geeked out, and I've had to say to them, well, I, I understand what you mean, don't worry, um, or I don't understand, can you reiterate? When we've had chances to ask other people about how they've done their stuff, they might as well have said with a magic eight ball. So <laughs> that's the way I look Is at it. Is this the right it, thing it, to do? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Am I going to cost people a lot of money and they're not going to know about it? <laughs> How does this work? Ask me later. <laughs> uh, For sure, man. Went there. Yeah, went man. There. I mean, but you yeah. know, I mean, to, let's be, I mean, let's let's give credit where credit's due to some, you know, it to try and develop an app, you know, a, a working app, oh, it's hard. For, you know, a mobile phone device or you know, you know, whichever tablet you use, whether it's an iPad or a Samsung Galaxy, whatever, you know, then. You know, you've 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 got to know what you're doing to a degree, haven't you? I mean, I, I certainly oh, couldn't God, do it yeah. because I mean, I just, if, you know, it's a running theme. I switch my laptop on and break it, and all I've got to do is press yeah. the on button. Well, you know, I'm, I have difficulty I'm with give, I'm going to give somebody utmost credit at the moment, and this is something that I, I I promised not promised myself, but I kind of knew I wouldn't do. And times are really starting to change with this. Bill Chapel, he created the SLS X Cam. And with me being a geek, the first thing I'd done was I got moody about it. I was like, oh, well, all he's done is got to connect and strap it to a Windows tablet, which is what he'd done with the original one. He got to connect and he strapped it to a Windows tablet. I never thought about the dynamics behind the software that he actually created to do the job. I thought, oh, he's just done it this way and that's it. No, he put a lot of effort into that. And I was really, I was naive to believe that it was it because he's put depth sensors and stuff like that. But... Where pieces of equipment like that are concerned, he's fine tuning and stuff. Bill Chapel, he don't get me wrong, I don't know I don't know his motives, I don't know what his purpose is, I don't know if he's a paranormal investigator, if he's just an engineer or whether he just wants to build stuff to sell. I don't know. And you know what? I'm not gonna criticize the nah. guy because he does such a good job at what he's doing. But when you got people like that who are gonna sit there and they will sit there at two o'clock in the morning and think of the next thing, think of what's gonna help us move forward with regards to um, paranormal investigation people like Massimo people who actually use their brain to build something as opposed to just going right I'm going to drag money out of these guys Right? there's two different motives there one motive is a true motive and the other motive is a monetary motive which to be fair 
I'm going to say, I'm going to go as far as saying one of them is selling snake oil or one of them is selling, um, selling to prayers. There's a classic example for you. Something you can't really sell. Well, I, 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 to follow up what you were saying, Mona, I see the worst of it being with a lot of these apps that are out there. Yeah. I mean, I've been following these groups, and, and, and I find these apps, like Aaron was saying earlier, too, that, I don't know, Bill Chappell, look where he ended up. He ended up on Ghost Adventures. He's going to bank more money just by being on that show than Massimo is for what he's doing, and he knows it, you know? Well, the difference being there, I think, is because, I mean, with, with Bill Chappell, yeah, he is going to be more marketable. Why? Because he's on the TV, he's yeah, doing yeah. he's doing a worldwide show, you know, and it's it it was like when George Foreman endorsed that stupid yeah. grill that makes bacon yeah. taste like rubber. It's you know <laughs> it's, the George Foreman grill. A lot of people swear by it. I swear at it. You know what I mean? And it's like it takes all the fun out of your food. And it's all sitting yeah. in that little tray at the bottom. So that's essentially what Bill Chappell's doing. You know, I'm fair play to the guy. Do you know what I mean? Good luck to him. You know, wishing yeah, that's what he wants to. You know, mm -hmm. if he's genuinely going to do that for the sake of helping people like us in in investigations, then I can't see where the harm is. Anybody who produces anything of that sort, whether it be an app or you know a you know a, a different type of lens for a, a you know a static photograph, yeah, and fair play to them. You know, good stuff. Well done for trying, because nine out of ten of them aren't going to work. And it's a shame because a lot of people pour their heart and soul into it for, as what Morris has said, the right reasons, which is they yeah. want to help people like us to gather better information, get better yeah. evidence and stuff like that. And then there's the, there's the other people yeah. who they go, cha-ching, I know yeah, what that's I can what do. I'm, yeah, that's what I was getting at with that. That's I, exactly I can wrap it. this hot dog up into a silver bit of foil. And, and sell it for a million dollars. Yeah. Magic one that Harry Potter created. <laughs> and yeah, straight away you're standing there, expellious extra damas and all this, and you're going, why isn't my sausage wrapped in tin foil? <laughs> Making my cup of tea into a giant transformer. It's because yeah, you're no. using a sausage wrapped in tin foil. I've, here's one for you though, right? And this is just to sort of yes and no on what you've just said there. A lot of people out there, we don't give enough credit to with regards to stuff like this because we get new people going to start investigating. And just to give you an idea, me and Kate know a, a, a couple, uh, Mary and Chris Brooks, who we talked to on the internet, MC Paranormal, they just started up a group last year. And when they started up, they started up at minimal equipment. But they were smart about the equipment they actually got. They said, well, we're going to get audio, so we're going to look at a voice code. We're going to look at getting video, so we're going to get a camera. We're going to look at this, and we're going to get this. Some people out there don't use that type of initiative and just go, what's on Ghost Adventures? Because Ghost Adventures used um, an ovulus, so I'll buy an ovulus. Or Ghost Adventures I... used a trifield meter, so I'll buy a trifield meter. Or okay, it's got to say a dirty word now, isn't it? GoPros, <laughs> so I'll buy loads of GoPros. No, I, I, yeah, um, everything Mo's saying is correct. And uh, <laughs> I'm not going to curse because I'm not going to break the promise of curse. Uh... Mo was taunting me. I heard the GoPros. Yes, I have a fetish for GoPros. Reason is, is because I can get them cheaper. Now. But yeah, it's just not a fetish. But you know, or or trail cams are my other thing. Aaron, you're close enough to being American than I think Mo ever will be. You'd have trail cams out where you could post them up anywhere you want at night and stuff like that. But yeah, just to go with yeah. what Mo's saying, um, there's I did, I did, I bought. I bought Ovulus, and then I got, I looked, I played with it for two weeks, three weeks, sold it on eBay, took a hit. Yes, I know. I took a hit. I bought um, Trifield Meter, hated it, because any movement you make with it, the thing after it calibrates, it starts to fluctuate a little bit, no matter what. And I bought the natural one. Got rid of it. Not worth it. I got a Mel Meter now. Go ahead. Don't be so stressed about that though, because I, I, I'm going to be honest with this. I didn't, I wasn't really using that as a dig. I just thought I'd, I'd push it just to see what happens. Oh, but, dude, no, it's great. No, that's the whole purpose of it. I gotta, I, I gotta personally deal with things like that. You know, yeah, it's it's <laughs> silent and error with whatever you use, isn't it? You know, it's you're not gonna know what's gonna work, it, it, and it's all person dependent. Do you know what I mean? You, you, sure. Obviously, you've you've got this absolute, you know, slobber gob for GoPro. 
Yeah, that's, yeah. that's your weapon of choice. Do you know what I mean? That's, that's what you're comfortable using. That's what you feel gets you the better. Res- yeah, it, well, yeah, it is in effect like in a relationship. You know, so yeah. and that—that's what you're more comfortable with. That's fine. You know, and I don't, ha- and I'm, and I don't have Mo on this side of the pond to create something that's going to blow my mind. So what I got to do? No, it's not so much whether it blows your mind; it's whether it blows up. <laughs> Anytime Morris says to me, yeah, mate, listen, we're going on investigation. I want to test this new bit of kit. Here you go. I'm like, oh, yeah. And I'm about to press the big red button. And I'm like, hang on a minute. I'm going to come back having to count my fingers to make sure they're all there. Should I just not press the button? But it's so shiny. I'm going to press the button. Bang! Ooh, I'm alive. You know, and it, it, it's great because then Mo doesn't have to come and investigate me. <laughs> back, back to what I was going to say, right, which is, I think where we need to end this entire debauchery of news, right, well, at least this section of the news, is we've got a, um, we've got a good friend, Ed Bogrowski, from Proof, and the guy invented, or he's, he's developed, sorry, a couple of apps, They're epic, two of them, though. yeah, yeah, two of them, right, which I've heavily tested in the past, he's got, actually three of them I've tested in the past, one of them I totally swear by, which is um, the Paranormal um, Activity Logger, only yeah. because he's actually used, and it's not even the fact that it's a log, not even the fact that it's got anything to do with the pattern, it's just the fact that he was a guy who went out and he had, actually had a plan, and his plan worked. It literally logs everything about when you're out. You could have, just you literally use your phone or your tablet, and do you know what, right? I'm not even going to explain it to you guys. Go onto the App Store, um, the Android App Store, Paranormal Activity Logger, download it. If you don't, then it's your own boss. And it's, it's easy user. enough to use as well, isn't it? You know what I mean? Like, I've had, I've had a little go. Of, I mean, I've, personally, I haven't downloaded that onto my mobile or cell phone, whichever you prefer to use, as we know Sound. care can get a bit icky about words. Um, so stop giving me the finger from under the screen, please. I see what you're doing. Care. <laughs> me? Yeah, you. Uh, no, you no, know, no. You I, know it, what you're doing. It, so, it, yeah. it, would, it would be above the screen, dude. <laughs> like that. I purposely but no, I, do that, but I'm, I'm not. Been, no. I've not. I've not downloaded that app myself personally, but yes. Morris has, and he's literally threw his phone at me and said, "See how easy this is to use." And I'm quite, um, I'm I'm not too great with technology, you know. That's no that's no secret whatsoever. But Aaron, Aaron it, managed it's too to easy to map. It, it it it's it's all it's Aaron proof, you know. It, yeah, Aaron, it's Aaron one step above idiot proof. Yeah, embarrassing, but nevertheless. As we're saying, when you when you've got pieces of software and you've got apps out there like that that actually do hold credibility, and you wonder why apps like that are not top of a list, yeah, and other apps sadly are, and the same as equipment, you wonder why pieces of equipment like when Massimo, I I once said to Massimo, I always remember it, how do you plan to even earn off this? You went, I'm not in it for the money. Yeah. I remember that, and I thought, he, he, all he's doing is, and I can tell you now, it's not even a case of the money, because I know how much he's selling them for. We, we got to find that, Dirt that information out. He's selling Dirt this cheap. really cheap, and you think, that's that's surprisingly, you, he's such a, such, a, such a smart guy for what he's done. I was like, wow. That he that, must that, have that, something. I think that's what we need, isn't it? You know, more, more people like that who, who are able to develop things, and who aren't basically going to try and you know, drain what's left in your bank account. It's, you know, we're, we're all hunting for the same type of results here, do you know what I mean? And you've got some people who are, you know, that taking advantage of that. Hmm. <laughs> right, anyway, I think we're going to move swiftly on before someone tries to sue us for... Um, for I wasn't mentioning no names. For their own stupidity. I wasn't mentioning no names. Oh, about no, the Echo Vox? No. What? No. Uh, well, you know, it, it's depends what way you shaved on it. But uh, anyway, moving swiftly on. Um, anything else to add to you know the the last forty uh, tie, minutes worth of news? Yeah, to tie into what you guys are saying, to lead into uh, the skull experiment, it makes me think about this type of equipment. If it was available in the ni- early nineties and or oh, previously, God, yeah. what what could they have picked up during these? seances and this and that using the equipment or the gear kit whatever you call it that we have now would it have debunked everything and this is just a lead in in a sense you know what do you guys think I don't know well, what you, I think what the question should be there mate instead of what if they had it there then 
yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it was. Why not use it now? Why not yeah. revisit it? With what's available? I mean, we're we're, we're over twenty years removed from yeah. it, from the from the original skull experiment. Yes. So no. why not? Why not go back to it and just say, listen, you know, advances in technology. Boom. I let, don't let's, think. Let's right. use this ghost star here. No, do you know what? Right, where it's concerned, especially where the skull experiment's concerned, the means of technology they had back then, in my eyes, and this is my own personal opinion, it was a perfect storm. You couldn't have got the. I'm not. I don't want to ruin it for people who want to listen to the discussion, but you could not have got what they got using what we've got. If that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, I know what you mean. But I, I do. I, I do kind of say one part was the Italian medium who liked to play with his um radio. Oh, his radio. He's got the radio where he picked up EVPs. But yeah. they're the they're the longest, cleanest, and I and I had all my notes with me and I don't have them right now. The longest, cleanest EVP. It was almost like a conversation that we're having now. I'm going, how can that be? I, yeah. why, why wouldn't modern um, let's say recorders pick something up. We usually get one word, two words. Even if you're getting a word, it could be it could be radio signal. Who knows what you're getting? Well, what's, but wrong, this... what's wrong with using the results they've already got? Because they must have like other copies of it. Where they've, where they've well, okay, well if we lose this, we're we're deep in it here, you know. So they've made a copy of it somewhere, and there's technology out there that can tidy things up. With, with, yeah. With, with, with regards to audio and visual, so why not put it through some form of filter? I mean, I, I'm just try, trying to. No, 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 no. You know what I mean? I, I wouldn't have a clue on how to do it. No, no, no. Not you're sure. right. No, but you're right. Why not though. throw it through a filter, tidy it up slightly, and you know, do it that way and say, oh, okay, well, where we struggle trying to figure out what that said, this is what it said. Yeah. Oh. No. Sorry about that. Yeah, it is. Sorry about that. Um, where the? What? Let's go back to what is a skull experiment. You yeah, guys, definitely. kick it off. What is it? Well, it it began in in '93 where four psychic researchers had started on a series of experiments. They were they were from a village called Skull. Which is in the title. Where is how far is Skull from Liverpool? If we were to... Skull is in Norfolk, right? Which is roughly Norfolk from here is about four hours drive. Okay. Yeah, uh, I'll get it up on Google Maps in a minute, and I'll tell you exactly how far away it is. Um, but some of the some of the results that they got were that, were that good that senior members of the Society for Fis uh, Fiscal Research had asked to basically watch in on it. To test it and to record what happened, and basically that that's yes. what had gone on. Now, I mean, have you seen the film The Atticus Project? No, actually, I haven't. No, well, if if you can get your mitts on a copy of it, have a watch of it, because from, I mean, I've I've got to be honest, I don't know an awful lot about about tonight's topic, but from what I have literally seen and read through. It's a lot like the Atticus Project. Um, I'm not going to tell you what the film's about because you know that's irrelevant. But you will notice similarities between the Skull Experiment and the Atticus Project. And if the results that these guys have got are anywhere near the same as what was on the Atticus Project, it it's absolutely mind blowing bearing in mind that the Atticus thing is a, it is a film although it is, I think it, if I remember rightly it was based on real events uh, so yeah, Skoll is literally it's on a, the oh, east coast bunchy. it's on the bum cheek of Britain <clears throat> it, actually, to be fair mate Norfolk's quite a nice place it's but mainly it's yeah. no dude look at it if that was a kangaroo that's a kangaroo's bum cheek look you do realise there's people from Norfolk who could be watching this show and thinking, right, okay, I'm going to get a contract out on that Mo guy. I'm going to kill him. Sorry about you being from Norfolk. Not my fault. No. 
it's a nice place, and to be fair, you know, there's a lot of nice people who live there. I've, you know, I used to work down that. Well, I say work. I used to deliver down that way. So, and the people who I met from there are decent people. So anyhow, with the skull project, the goal was what? I mean, basically, it was it, it was basically to see what inter excuse me, what you know, to do with all the intelligent forces being able to influence material objects. So at, at, you know, basically, like my not my control. That's yeah. Well, sight. Well, sight. Well, they had PK. They yeah. were about moving things with their mind, brain, you know, Maybe, psychokinesis. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah it, like telekinesis and that kind of thing. I can, yeah. I can put it to you. So, EVPs. you know, like being able to move a cup with your mind and, you know, maybe slap them all around the back of the head just from here. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so it, <laughs> it works. Sorry, dude. I, I, I'll take Gosh. my ring off. <laughs> dude, you just got a redneck, man. You just got a straight up American redneck. Man. I'll show you what else I could do as well through telekinesis. Ten pounds strong as well, which is horrible. I could show you what else I could do with just mind control, but then it would be X-rated. Oh, that would be funny. That would be funny. For you. Not me for Mo. Feel you. So I mean, what? Okay, I mean, what's what's your take on? I honestly um on the skull the skull thing I I they. All the experiments they did, they spent over a thousand hours basically doing everything from EVPs to psychokinesis to um, talking to the dead to uh, table tipping to, you know, and, and we all know me, I'm a skeptic. I don't yeah. believe in table tipping. I said, yeah, it works, but it's done with your idiomotor skills, kind of like a Ouija board. That takes yeah. place. And then you have these voices. Sometimes you'll have a voice that will appear, and they wouldn't allow some of these people, the um, scientists, to use um, IR lights for some reason. They weren't allowed to use certain IR lights. They're talking about that because um, who knows what they'd be giving up because mm -hmm. then they'd be aporting too. Things like coins would drop out of nowhere, brooches would drop out of nowhere. And it got to the point where I'm like, Dude, there's got to be something. You know, there's got to be more than just three scientists to say this is BS. Well, you know, I, I don't sorry. buy it. Well, Go I ahead. know when they, when they, they were kicking off to do it, when they first started doing this and once the fiscal research people got involved, they basically sat them all in a room, mm -hmm. dark room, and they put wristbands on them. I remember the wristbands so you couldn't it, hear the peel. It, it, yeah. It's not even that. It, it, it was. It, yeah, the, you couldn't hear them coming off, or any, you know, because of the velcro yeah. and whatever else. But they were also fluorescent. They, they started glowing in the dark and stuff like that. So it was basically put your hands in a bowl and go from there. That made sense. Uh, Do you know, the one thing with the skull experiment before we really dig into it, the one thing with the skull experiments is if it can be, and, and this is the only time I actually. Um, reiterate science. If it can be replicated, I'll put faith in it. If you yeah, can replicate it in the same situation, I will put faith in did, it. Didn't they try to replicate it in California at one point? To they've try to it, do. They've done it in a few places. Uh, California was one. Uh, let me see, where's the other one? Uh, they also done it in Holland, Germany, Switzerland, and Spain. So, and this this was over hundreds and hundreds of meetings, you know, and. Yeah. It was all recorded on audio. I don't. I don't. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I was going to say. So what? What was the outcome of all that then? Was it a valid outcome? Not so what I've seen so far. As I say, it's my knowledge of it all is limited. So it's. I mean, I'm just shooting what I what I know, which is no, it's been limited. And you know, they, they have got evidence of it. Yeah, I mean. That's not an issue. If I can get the right page up, I'll... Um... I've got piles over here ready to be shown up. When you're ready, I'll show up the pieces of evidence, which are, I've got a lot of the footage, a lot of the, um, the photographic footage from it. But the, the one thing that I want to know, uh, and, and more, from, more from your opinion, Adam, with you being new to it, mm -hmm. is they used technologies from the time. They used things like... I know they used a lot of film, 35 mil film, for instance. They used a lot of that. in a lot of mil Polaroid. Yeah, and they threw it in a lockbox. Um, it was just to me. I think they could have. But it's. I'll, I'll say what I see here, right? 
Okay. What, what, what I can read out for you now is all the images were received on 35mm Polaroid films still in the light-proof containers and not, not a single camera was used. So basically this was chucked into a, into a dark box. Yeah. The, the original strip off the Polaroid, if you're familiar with Polaroids, it's the cam. if you're unfamiliar with Polaroids, sorry, it's the camera that you take a static picture with and the little slip flies out the bottom. You take it out the bottom, you peel it back and you wave it round like a lunatic until it dries <laughs> off. Then your picture does start to form and basically that's what they were using. They were using that little bit that fires out at the end and they didn't take off the film before they put it in the box. So it was completely yeah. untouched by any natural light, any unnatural light and anything else. And basically if I can drag that picture up, no I can't. Right, where's the right button? Right, um, bump, bump. Right, can we see that? Right, I'll bring you up now. Go ahead, buddy. Yeah, can you see that? Can yes. You see what's on my screen? Okay, so if you look here, these are what I can assume to be Polaroids. They're the full Polaroids. I've got them compartmentalised here, you know. Yeah, I don't know what that means, so I'm just going to carry on. You know, so you know, if you look, if you look at all of these, it just looks like somebody's got a load of paper and just it, it looks burnt. Of, it does look it does look burnt. It looks like possibly looking at things under a microscope also. Mm -hmm. You know, and you know, they, some of them, they, I I couldn't even give a description. But mm -hmm. the, one way, I mean, this one here, I think this one's the one it says here is it looks like a guy's face. Right, I've got that blown up here if you want to see it. Yeah, man, shove it on, man. Right, where are we? I'm going to go through them where I'm standing now. There we go. Right, only reason being I don't want to show every photograph I've got because a lot of them I find to be a bit... Um, risque. Interesting. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, they, yeah, got it. Is that the same one? No, it's a different one. Him there. Well, either way, there's my boy. And just so people don't think that this is just doctored. Mm. I mean, that's... Hmm. I do believe in paradelia. I do believe in maybe if you look at an image, that um, is... Yeah. yeah, you can you, you get used to seeing stuff in an image, but that's a mouth, that's a that's nose. That's a face, that's a face, dude. There's no, there's no maybe that's a face, that is a face. That's a face. Wow. There's no two ways about it. Now, I don't so, know if there's anything else in it. Can you pop it up a little bigger just to see? Because there's got to be more than one. Because to the right, it's a little paradelia. And I'm, look at the face up in the upper right-hand corner. Ladies, yeah. if you can see it. Yeah, that looks like a face, too. Could be matrixing. But, dude, look at the nose. Look at the mouth's all jacked. That looks like a goblin looking that way. Just saying. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. Just, I'm going to go, right, are you alright, Adam, if I just cycle through the pictures that I've got piece by piece? Yeah, that's fine by me, mate, yeah. Right, okay. There you go. That's the type of 35 mil. it was, I am, as Stephen just pointed out in our chat room there, it was 35 millimeter film made by Polaroid, so it wasn't the type of wavy film, so it actually uh, was. Ah, right, okay, so that, that's my mistake, I apologise on that. It's alright, it's okay. It's Basically, better, from what I can is. read, it says A represents the something, B and C could be through, but could be high resistance. This could help um, something considerably. This can help something considerably, and it's got a name, right? Um, I'm not even going to pretend to read that. That's, he could have been a doctor with that handwriting, couldn't they? That day. Now, from what I can tell and from what I can read, this might help. Now, if I remember correctly, he was when the when the skull experiment was happening. The people he were talking to, or apparently talking to from the other side, were actually feeding them information to help them with what they were doing. So some of this is a um, some of this I find a lot of it to be, and this is my own opinion, guys. This is not an opinion I want you to take on, but the, my opinion is a lot of this was doctor. A bit too, yeah, it seems a bit too um, too fantastic. So that's a poem, a German poem written by I can't remember the guy's name. Yeah, I think I've got that here. Um, I think if it's the right one, I can translate it. And no, oh I don't God. speak German. I know it is. It's in. It's in. It's English. Yet in my worst. I, I can. I've got it. Oh my God! It's a different one. Then there's another one here. If I can just show this one, Morris. Go ahead, mate. Go for it. We've got. 
we've got that one there, yeah, and as you can see, it's got the translation. And the poem reads, uh, An old trunk with a thousand branches, the roots within eternity, bends over from the east towards the west in many forms far and wide. No tree can become more richly blossomed, and no tree's fruit can be more noble, but even the darkest on earth ripens on its branches alone. Is hmm. it so a you, lot of it? Uh, this, for me, it, it, it is an interesting thing, because it's... Uh, how... how how can that be done? Yeah, it, I'm I, I understand. <laughs> now, let's look at it from a different perspective. Let's not look at it on how it can be done. Let's look at what they've actually got, and then we'll look at maybe how they've done it, because the thing is, if anybody, according to the way that these guys have pulled their evidence right, this is something which is pulled out of the ether, right? the slight intelligence behind it. What I would like to know personally is why a poem, why the poem that's up on your screen right now, yeah? It, well, why, well, why not? Well, yeah, why that poem? Right? I know that sounds like a cop-out question, but it, it, well, why not? it's as valid as any, it? isn't it? You know, it's, well, well, how come they put a face in the middle of nothingness? Okay, why not? Well, okay, that's it, what I mean. Now, I think it all depends because, on mood, doesn't it? No, because a lot of this I do find significant, but in the same breath, if you had access, put it this way, if you had access to a wealth of information, right, you would, and you had to. You only had a very limited time to reiterate your wealth of information. You would grab the most relative things you can, the most important things you can. Why would you throw a poem? I don't get that. If you look at that, there, that face. No, don't get me wrong. It's a face that's staring directly at a camera. In my eyes, that is possibly the most relevant thing they could have thrown on the screen. That explains something to do with um, high resistance. It explains something to do with the circuit. By the looks of that, B and C looks like points on a board. B and C, high resistance. A poem. I'd like to understand, unless maybe it was a bit of forward, like future thinking, maybe someone saying, read this poem, the secrets behind something which may happen in the future. There you go, is another one. Uh, there's your B and C. Yeah. Hang on, wait there. A poem there. represents the... Please see just Okay, I've got right. another photograph that I can show. Before you go any further, if you don't mind, right? No, go. That, that is linked with that. Fact, yeah. obviously... B and C, and that's a circuit, if I remember correctly, which I think may have been Drew. Um, I think, if I remember correctly, it was something like Tesla helped them or somebody. Yeah, I was going to ask about that. Yeah, it looks like an electrical planet. circuit. It's so what, what, what would your take on it be, Kate? I, this one's odd, man. This is like really odd when you think about it. I mean, B and C is definitely B and C. It, yeah. It's an electrical circuit, but why? Right. No, man. This, I this, just this... remembered something. I've just remembered something. This was something which has been built. Already? Somebody, Before this somebody, was... No, somebody's built this. Somebody's read into this and somebody's built this. I'll try and find it for you in a minute. But okay. for again, people on podcast, it, it's an electronic circuit with BNC and I'm sure they're meant to be microphones. I'm sure. Okay, I'll just show quickly show this picture that I've got flashed up on here. Um... Now, I'll, I will tell you before, and that it was obtained under strict security protocols. A uh, guy called Dr. Hans, oh God, Dr. Hans Scheer was present throughout the experiments and verified the results. Okay, so I want you to tell me if you guys can actually see anything in this main picture when I can eventually bleed and get it. It's getting more and more professional as the day goes on. Listen, pal, right? <laughs> I'm trying to be as as untechnophobic as possible here. Right, can you see what I've put up here now, yeah? Yes, I can. I'm tilting right. my head and everything. Like Christmas tree. It keeps, keeps flicking back and forth. No, it's not, that's just your eyes, Bill. But right, Sorry, so you, you can see that picture then, yeah? If you if yes. you click on the box with my name on it, Kate, it'll stay up. Okay. I got it up. Well, that didn't sound right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I apologize. So, I mean, what, what? Tell me if you see anything there, Kurt. Uh right here. Uh, there's a little orb with the face, paradelia. We can't actually see where you're pointing to. Uh, I'm on the lower picture. Yeah, keep that, going that's back the lower. Sorry, the lower picture. Yeah, that anything? looks like a little face, but you know. That's weird. Weird. That could be an orb, you know. We look at things. It's not an orb because it's on film. Okay, but so wait, are you looking this side or are you looking this to side? To the right. To the right. Okay, so to the right down, down, halfway down. Halfway down. Halfway yeah. down. It looks like a little. Yeah, right there. Okay. Looks like right. a Maltese. Looks like a Maltese. 
Okay. Oh, God bless us. Right, okay, I'm going to show you what I've just read out. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. That's that what I've just read out. This is stick to this pure hands with pendulum. You can see the man's face clearly in a bubble. See, that's pareidolia right there. I mean, I'll call that out. Yeah. But it looks that like a little. Bear in mind, though. Bear in mind that this was completely covered. It was covered film. Yeah, film need light to expose. So there was nothing for it to bounce off. There was no Stop. reflective images. It was just the film and with the cover over it. But you know what? I've got pictures that I've got saved in my little array of images here. Which this this is why I keep saying they're a little bit too fantastic. Maybe there's a little bit more behind them. There's one thing I want to point out with the image that I've got up on mine. So if you don't mind, I don't want to curve back over to this one here. Yep, yep. Curve, sorry. If you look very closely at the one that I've got up on the screen now, which is to see the A, B, C, one and two. One's yep. part of a circuit which returns to the D, returns back, blah, 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 blah. Look very closely at something in a second. See the line? Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, in between each uh, little... Yeah, if you draw on something that's ridged like that, every time you hit a point, you'll get an ink blot, yeah, because the yeah. ink pushes at that point, or your line will not See, be See, now, straight. if you stop there, Morris, stop, stop, stop. Hey, stop right moving. there, it looks like it right Go there. Back. Right Go there. Back. Yeah, stop. Right, where, where the little arrow is now, where your hand, like, go to the left, to the to the thin line, yeah? Yep. Now, move, move right slightly to the next one. There. Right, what right. you just said about that blot, what's that part That's, there? Where, that's two that's lines blot. joining. But no, that, I think that's two lines But joining. that, to me, looks like what you've just said. See, but look at the rest of them. They're, they are in a straight line. It is literally just that's one straight. That's, that's a fair comment, mate. But what you've got to what you've got to think about is what you've just said. Yeah, because I'm not saying that, that that's a, a fake or anything like that. Because I, I'm I'm far from qualified to know anything like that. Yeah. But what you've just said is that you normally get that little bit of an ink blot. Now that to me it does look like it, and there's, yeah, no, there's, there's, there's nothing to stop somebody it doing does. that with a ruler and a pencil and well, getting it I, wrong in that one particular place. I agree with that. I agree with what you're saying, but to me, that that this photograph actually lends a little bit of credence to what has happened. It, it it puts a little more faith behind it. Now, don't get me wrong. How this is coming from more of a tech technological mindset, I can't see how this is possible. But nevertheless, it's gone across what I would assume with the size of a 35 millimeter frame. It's like four, um, five or six. Three, four, five, I think it's like six or five, six or seven lines across is a frame. Okay, so that goes across quite a few frames, like four shots. Mm -hmm. But that line there, to me, it doesn't look like that's an ink blot. It just looks like one line's been drawn, stopped, and then another line's been drawn. So that may be, if, if, I, in, if I was going to be a bit more of a, a fraudulent mind, that's a photograph of a piece of paper. So by, by the looks of that, that's an imprint on the image. So I'm going to move away from that one because it'll just confuse the living crap out of everybody. That was taken. I don't know the 100% behind this, but 888, I have, and a little bit of a squiggle. But it's it's again, it's a hand, it's, it's hand done. I mean, yeah. that's easily. Oh wow. Yeah, explain that. That there apparently is Hebrew for God. But let's look at it. Can you blow it up any, or is it just? Yeah, of course, of course. That's Hebrew for God. I'm looking at the colors, the blues, the red. Yeah. And it looks like it, it could be done by like a, <laughs> and it's it's thick the way it's handwritten too. It's thick. It looks like thick with a uh, marker of sorts. I don't know, man. You know what the funniest part about this is for me. Bear in mind, you're seeing this in negative. Okay. So what happened? And I'm I'm gonna work out now. And I definitely I know you, uh, okay, you've been in correspondence with somebody who's involved in the school experiment. I'd like yep. to know if they try to develop it. Interesting. So you, you turn a negative image into a positive, and a lot of a negative image you don't realize it there appears because it's faint light. So I'd like to see what that looks like. But that's, again, when I said to you before, guys, about something being fantastic, that seems a little bit too fantastic for me. I was quite surprised by that. So now, on. There is one, one here that I've, I've looked at, and it is really, really interesting to see. Um... And th this is again. I'm not going to make any bones about it. This this is new for me because, you know, it just is. Um, 
Right. Can you see what what I've got there? Can you see what I see? Yeah. Yes. Hey, that's a Christmas song. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, D- Dio Tima? Is that what it says, Aaron? I, I'm D- yeah, it's. I can't quite read what that what that all says. I can make some of it out, but not all of it. But but the bottom part, yeah, I'm looking. Yeah, was that it was on the far left of one of the pieces of film. Yeah, and Dio Tima is a Greek word. Okay. Okay. So if I stop sharing that, I can shrink things again. Yeah, here we go. See, I'm starting to get a bit of a roll going here, aren't I? Yeah. Um, right, what what it says on, on here is the session of 16th of March, 96. See, even on this website, it gives the date first and then the month. <laughs> the session of 16th of March, 96 was an experiment which produced one of the most interesting, challenging, and ultimately evidential photographic films of all. The information on the film, although cryptic, was soon considered to be very relevant to Frederick Myers. After processing, there were a number of images along the length of the film. On the extreme left was a single Greek word, diatima. This was followed by a sentence in French. Do I attempt it? Go for it. Why not, dude? Yeah, Might come well. on. I don't speak French. Um... Is it? C'est quoi la première par qui coûte? I don't know. <laughs> if I got that right, if I got that wrong, or I don't know. I don't speak French, thank well, God. Just, well, it's really put a hit out on myself. But <laughs> yeah. Translated because it does have it in brackets underneath. Well done, that man. It says it is but the first step that counts. And then uh, there was another poem. Under that, um, but it's let's see if it, it it's I I can't even I'll be honest I can't even begin to describe what half of this is like to be honest because but, it just but, but seems what's the purpose like what Aaron you were reading in French and what Mo you had it up in German or Hebrew <laughs> and well, what thinking about it though what's the purpose of that appearing. Okay, I totally agree with what you're saying. It's, I mean, what's the purpose of that appearing out of? I mean, it, I don't know. I don't. I don't know. You know. I mean, it, it's 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 a mind bender. This whole thing, actually, believe it or not, I came into this. I'll be honest, skeptic is a uh, real skeptic, going like, nah, yeah. BS, BS. This is nah, no, 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 no. I'm 46 years old. I know everything. You know, it's not like that. 46 Dude, would be 80. No. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I'll be 80 next week, dude. But uh, this, uh, but no, but now Uh-oh. I'm seeing what's posted with you guys, and I'm going like, I didn't see that before, you know. And it's got me thinking. It's it's, it's I don't know, it, man. It is a bit of a head scratcher, isn't it? But I mean, what I think what you've got to look at is not every spirit's going to be English or American or Australian or, any, or, or anything. Or, you know, it, could, it 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 could have been a Greek Greek spirit. But do you think it's a spirit, 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 though? I mean, would you would you actually put would you actually put your head out there, you know, for your, to get chopped off and say yes, it's a spirit that did that, or would you say this is a little much, a little too in detail for something that what we're used to in today's society with the ghost adventures and any paranormal group? You guys know it. You pick up EVPs. I mean, you're not going to pick up some brilliant whole conversation taking place it's more or less two to three words even if it's that versus what's what's being thrown at us with the whole skull experiment i don't i don't i'm just okay I'm just, my, just my take that's all no more no I'll, I'll give you what i think yeah my, my personal opinion not anyone else's it's it's definitely a phenomena isn't it because yeah you know <laughs> If if you're using film that's made specifically for camera, and if you're not doctoring it in any way, shape, or form, how can you explain what has happened with that? You can't. Now, as I said, you know, I you, you asked me whether or not I put my head out and say, "Is it?" Yeah, a yeah. Yeah. What would Houdini do? Remember Harry Houdini? What if he destroyed the skull experiment? Yes, he could go he in there, there. It, and he could debunk almost all of that. I mean, that guy was that professional. What you've got to look at with him is 
he, he was a different breed entirely. Yeah. No, you know, it, it's like every generation has, has a certain person who's exceptional. And he was one of them people. Yeah. Um, you know, okay, maybe, maybe a bad reference to make, but an exceptional person for all the wrong reasons, and rightly so, was... I can't believe it. Is, is Hitler, because he was exceptionally bad... No, people. No, Do you know what I mean? People and don't realize he was, he was like was the he was like the Austrian Pied Piper. Yeah. You know, he he brainwashed the nation. He brainwashed quite a few nations, as it happens, into believing that the perfect race was blonde hair, blue eyes. Yeah. You know, and that was his vision for the world. If that had have happened, and that vision had have carried through, we'd all be wearing leather hose and jack boots and saluting some I weird do. fella. You know, it's yeah, but you yours is for a different reason. Yours is for a different reason. I, I really don't want to see that, but yeah, you, do. you know it's, <laughs> it's it's all different. I mean, yeah, I I, w I would say there's definitely some form of spirit that's that's done that. I mean, because it's for me, it's it's too. It it's looking at it, it it's too good. If that's fake, if that's faked. Yeah, a lot of yes. these were an uncontrolled. Uncontrolled experiments, though they weren't. Uh, there are a few that were very controlled with multiple scientists and psychologists and stuff. But yeah. a lot of these were an uncontrolled certain area. You know what I'm saying? You yeah. and I do, let's say, an EVP session. We think we come up with the most brilliant thing in the world because we're there and we were there. But it was not in a controlled environment. No, and I think what you've got to ask there, though, is why would the Society of Psychical Research get involved with it and then fake it? Because that just completely discredits everything they have ever done, ever produced, and will ever do in the future. And it's just right. Okay, well you faked that, so yeah, because you are you at that point. You're. What were you saying, Mo? I'm sorry, dude. I apologize. You'd ne you'd never... No, I agree with what I'm saying. You'd never put yourself into a situation like yeah. that. Yeah, you can't um, because if you're a massive entity in that sense, then you, you're just going to completely destroy yourself. Yeah. It's like the okay, completely away from it. It's like. The moon landings. A lot of people say, "Well, no, it was just filmed in a desert with a black and in black and white." Yeah. In Nevada. Okay, fair enough. That's your opinion. Um, me, I, I couldn't care less with where it was. If it was, if it's real, great. If it's not, well done. You, the way I look at it, you know, either way, I'm still looking at the same footage. Well, so. yeah, but then NASA are going to be completely written off. To do no, with anything they, they do. So that's a bad, that's a bad analogy though, because NASA was sort of strong. But it, no, but it's, it, it, it might be a bad analogy. But what I'm saying is, the, fundamentally, it's the same thing. It's a oh, massive, it's massive, beast. massive, massive entity faking something like that. They're just going to be completely written off for the rest of the days, and they're never going to be be believed again. Oh no, I totally agree. But yeah, right. I'll bring up a few more images, right? And this is maybe where my opinion slightly changes on the uh, the skull experiment itself. It's Sounds really sly saying that, because I don't mean to sound like an absolute swine. But again, look at that. That's very intricate for it just to be an image people are going to, you know, fake. Then there's that, the Castile, Castile, which I think was an old French royalty symbol. That can't be... That looks, that looks like it's Egyptian hieroglyphics, in a sense. It looks like my new tattoo. Oh, that's pretty damn cool, actually. No, that's what I'm thinking of. If you're going to fake that, right, that is going to take some time to do. You've got to know can be what done, you're though. doing. Pardon? That's the thing. It can be done. It can be done, but, again, going back, if the, if the Society of uh, Psychical Research are in on it, yeah, that's and then good they, they've, got to, they've got to spend so much time knowing exactly what it is they're putting on that film. If they're faking it, yeah, and they've got to get it spot on. But you got There's look, no room for error. There was in one of the movie shows I saw. There was a magician talking about it, saying it's BS, and he was explaining how it was done. You know, know who would be a great one for this one? Houdini. Bill Hall. Yes. Bill, Bill Hall would be epic for this one. Mm -hmm. I, that's I should have thought of that, just to get a magician's take on the ability yeah. to. To, you know, it's all done with hocus pocus. I don't know, dude. I it's, yeah. I can't explain it. I, I honestly can't. Mo, what's your what's your your opinion? Do you think it it's legit? Do you think it's fake? Well, my opinion, right? I'm not going to put it into a nutshell. I'm going to give you a reason for my opinion, right? I 
I think there's intelligence behind it. I think there may be some paranormal behind it. I believe that the skull experiment was done properly. What I struggle with, and it's, it sounds really strange saying that I struggle with it because I'm a bad geek and I can always tell you how something's fake or I'll try my hardest to explain if I feel something's fake, why it's fake. But what I'm struggling with is the why. I understand that, right? Okay, I get maybe somebody wants to talk from the other side if there is another side. I, I get that. Right? I understand that. What I want to know is why that person decides to reiterate that. Mm. What's the significance of that, right? Okay, so... That, that goes back to what I said earlier on, though, Morris. It doesn't necessarily have to be... If it, if it is spirit, it doesn't have to be necessarily from the last 10 years. It doesn't have to necessarily be an English-speaking spirit. It could be a spirit from... A thousand, years, a thousand years ago, that yeah, spoke, that, no, no, that spoke I, Hebrew. Now this, there you go. That spirit. Whose signature? But whose signature is that on the lower left? That's what yeah. I want to know. That's Morris's. Oh, that's yes. Mo's. You got good handwriting, dude. So that's yeah. Louis. That's that's French. Yeah, so like uh, Louis yeah. D- Dn or something like that. Yeah, it's but French. The one, thing, the one thing that I'm questioning, right, is, and I'm going to go back to what you've just said, Alan, right? If this guy, if this guy who done this decided to be from the 1700s, let's give him the benefit of the doubt. He's from the 1700s. Yeah, I understand. He's managed to superimpose an image onto film. Tell me there's no more intelligence that he's learned after the fact because there was no film. He must have learned something else. If let's just here's an ideal situation. This guy actually did do this. This guy from the other side came over and superimposed that onto the 35 millimeter film. Yeah. If that was possible, right, he has had to have kept learning past the point of where he's passed away. Because he know he needs to know how to get that on there. Not, it's not something that he goes, I'm gonna fire a mind bullet at it. It doesn't work like that. I disagree with what you just said on that, Morris. It's yeah. it's not the fact that they have to keep learning. I mean, look look at it again. I'll go back and say it again. If if it is done by a spirit, then why would that spirit have to keep learning? It it that doesn't make any sense to me because you know it's like um the Enfield Hauntings that's just been on the series, yeah. Yeah. You've got a poltergeist who's able to take over somebody's body and yeah. use their body as a vessel. So, yeah. have they had to learn how to do that and keep learning? In my opinion, yeah. Not necessarily, no, because it's... I mean, all right, if you look along the lines of Ghostbusters and stuff like that, the film, oh, no, okay, yeah, it, it's a kid's TV show, kid's film, whatever. You know, it, it's basically somebody in spirit form, walking into someone's body and taking a pew. And going yeah. from there, it, it's like watching um, the turtles and you've got the weird little brain creature thing controlling the robot. Fundamentally, Crap. it's the him, yeah, that one, the, the music channel. He's fundamentally doing the same thing. So no, why can't not. he just be able to... They, I mean... I'm, I'm struggling to try and explain this because I'm not making sense to myself now. I don't think necessarily what they're doing is having to keep learning and keep learning and keep learning. It could be as simple as... Uh, he knows that. If that if, yeah, it, it's that simple, yeah. It's like, I've got a pen in my hands, I've got a piece of paper, and I can write Kurt's name down on that piece of paper, yeah. So what's to say they can't carry on writing on what that film is. Oh no, I totally understand now, but again, you've got to have learned how to put that pen to the paper, that's intelligence. Yeah, but there's, there's no pen, this is what I'm saying. It's right. Okay, it's, okay. What, it's what they've used, it's their and it's what they've used energy wise to be able to do that is only pretty much gonna be similar to what they've done when they were walking. Right, okay. Uh, let's I mean? look at let's look at it from the angle of what you've just said there now, right? Can he have done that when he was alive? Well, maybe not on the film, no, because Regal. as you just said, film wasn't invented. But but this is what I'm saying. Regardless of what material that he's drawn it on, he, yeah. there was still material, whether it was paper, whether it was um, a wall, yeah. whether it, he carved it in in, that's, in no, wood that's... or stone. It, it 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 that's by the by. It's still a material that he's able to use, regardless yeah. of whether it was there when he was alive. Yeah, what I'm trying to say to you is he is not drawn on that. For that to have done what it's done, see the far left hand side there, see this part here. Mm-hmm. So see that there. Yeah. That's not that's not exposed. That part's not exposed. 
that so all the white or the see-through. All the white's exposed. being exposed, yeah. Yeah. So what he's actually done, right, is he's used something with a little bit more intelligence to block light from that point and all them points there and come up with that image there. That's where I'm. That's what I struggle with. That's actually two films. But I look to it as well. Let's go to split. Right yeah, next it could be just... yeah. One's a little. One's a little older looking. If the further you go right. Okay, so if we if we could go the other side of this to do it, a, a lot of people watching this might think I got where you know this has got nothing to do with it, but personally I think it does. I mean, it lucid dreaming. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. We know we know what lucid dreaming is. Yeah, it's basically where you go to sleep of a night, or if you work nights, you go to sleep of a day. You have a dream, and then you have the ability to control what happens in that dream. So. If you dream you're in a burning building and there's something blocking the only exit there, yes, you can change your surroundings to all of a sudden it's the fire just stops. You you, you have the ability to control that dream. It's like a film. This could be something similar. Oh no! Do you know what? Right, I'm no, going to give you something. It's a, it's around that way where. You know, the, whoever it is that that's dead is still has the ability to control what they're doing. With it's consciousness, do you still have the consciousness there yeah. first off? Yeah. Then do you have the ability, like Aaron, what you're saying, to create what Mo just put up? Yeah. You know, that that to me, I don't know. I it's we're we're, yeah. we're the three of us now, right? If we were to draw something, we'd physically need something to draw like, it with. Yeah, I eat sure. pen, paper. Yeah, the dead yeah. they don't have to. Now that's something we're coming across now. It, it's kind of like imprint. Yeah, it's like a, a Xerox machine. Yeah, no, I'll give you that. I'll definitely give you that. But you know what, right? I know we because as cruel as this is, we're coming to the end of this show, right? Yeah. But the one thing, the one thing I want to pull from the entire situation is, right? It's far harder to try and explain the skull experiment in just what evidence. <laughs> Jesus, it really is. Yeah, it, it's, honestly... uh, it's hard to try and get what we need to get out in just the hour and a half. But some of the evidence, right? I'm going to bring up the last piece of evidence now that I'm going to bring up, right? This is this is where I actually started to think, do you know what? I don't believe this. That is off one of the films. They Hold on. Can you pop that up a little bigger, dude? Old man needs to see. Oh, look down. at that on the right-hand side. Is that a yeah. soldier? No, that's the White House. Oh, but to the left, if you see it to the left, it's... It's to the left, to the left. It, it right looks right. like Paradelia, of course. Paradelia. It, it could be a flag. It, it could looks. Be it looks like one yeah. of the sort of Disneyland's or something like that. It does, it's doesn't it? it? Disneyland and, Castle. Hello. And you like this Daily Mirror in the yep. old 1960s Daily Mirror sign. Something okay. stage, something, something in area or days. Can you rip the date off that? I can't. Can you, no, can you see it? Are you, it's far, far too pixelated. Look, former stage maybe. Oh, wow, that's oh, pixelated. Former stage maybe something. I think I could be able to find that piece of news by typing in Daily Mirror former stage B, and I might be able to Google it and see what's brought up. But to be fair, what's the relevance? What's the significance of that? Why does the the White House picture or whatever picture the ta not the White House? It could be anything that. Why does that look post-apocalyptic? Why does that's, that look like plume? That's the beauty of it, mate. It doesn't have to be relevant. I think if you were going to bring something to all... None, none of this relevant. that's on here, Morris, right? From, from my own point of view, from what I've seen, none of this on here, especially to do with like the Greek the Greek word and the poems, because they're just, they're just plucked. They're just random poems, random words, you know, random pictures also. That's yeah. the beauty of it all. Spirits don't need to be using relevance. Well, here's something for you, right? And this is this is going to be a personal thing for me, and this is also something off Steve. Right? Steve's just piped up in the chat room and said, I believe in it, but I also keep in mind, this is one of three things, so don't, just let me finish this. I also keep in mind we are dealing with it, we may be dealing with interdimensional possibilities where the species are not fully, we, with species we do not yet fully understand. I agree with that, Steve. 
but there's a lot of it which is branded and named as this person and that person, right? And then he's put, my last take on this is there is no possible way you could write something that detailed, on the, that detailed and intricate onto a negative. And you know what? I agree with him. What I am going to say is I'm going to battle as hard as I can and Kurt, I know you'll do the same and Adam, you'll do the same. We're going to get somebody who is involved. Oh. Sco- yeah, you will. We're going to get somebody involved at the school experiment. We're going to get them on the radio or on the, yeah. the radio. Oh, no, on the video cast. No, go on, dude. I'll, I'll start on that tomorrow. We're going to get that person to come up onto the show, right? And we're going to ask them their opinion on... Because to be fair, right, I don't mean to sound horrible, guys. That happened. Regardless to whether it's true or false, that happened. We yep. need to not know if it happened or if it... I don't, I, I'm at a point now where I'm not going to say, was it real or was it fake? What I want to know is, I don't care if it was real or fake. What's the significance of what's been shown? Yeah, Because I think everything, everything is patterned and everything is intentional. Everything is intelligent. Yeah, I mean, obviously, you know, you know, if you if you do want to know more about about it for a start, because I, it doesn't matter how long we talk about this, we we're not going to do it any justice whatsoever or get any further forward within ninety minutes. Not a chance. Um, not a chance. In you know, hell. This, we we could go back and see on this all night long. Not a problem. The web the website that I've been using to get the bits of information I've put across is. Apparently, the legitimate website for it, which is quite simply www.thescholexperiment.com. Um, you can also got access to the the files on it. Some of the files on this, um, obviously, the buy the book link is just there. So you know, if you want to buy the book, buy the book. It could be a really good read. You know, it could make a really good um, TV stand or something. You know, it depends on what you want to do with it, but. For me, this is as on the spot as I feel it's been. You know, it's it's been good. It has it been has. good, and it's it's been interesting because <laughs> I've had to learn some of this as I've gone along. Not that anybody would be able to tell what the you know. Do you know what the, the funniest part is? This is something which I'm going to say to the viewers and the listeners right now. This is something which we're not going to end on. Like with the ghost arc, and like with Bill Hall, and like with some of the people we talked to, Ed Becker. There's always follow up. There's always something else. Don't expect this to be the end of this story. It will never be that. What I will say is, we'll get to the bottom of it. And you know what? Keep listening to to find out what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we've. I think this is going to be revisited at some point, isn't it? You know, it's. Yeah. I mean, we'll, it was we'll like the, M, the Enfield haunting a couple of weeks back. That was hot topic, hot topic, hot topic, hot topic with near enough everybody. Where yeah. is it now? Yeah, yeah. Disappeared. Well, you know, and that, there's still plenty of legs left in that to go through it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. To be able to discuss it and stuff like that. This, as far as I'm aware, is still an ongoing. Mm-hmm. Investigation and that that that's the bit for me that you know it it it's again I'm going to go back to my bacon theme because it seems to have been on my mind a lot tonight. It's like offering me a bacon sandwich and just as I'm getting it, pulling it back, pulling it back, and yeah, just keep it out of reach. So you know you know, it's, it's going to make interesting stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna wear it really weird for you, right? But this is from an old school point of view, especially the way the Victorians used to say it. This is something, or this 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 is a subject which is best called romantic, right? And by romantic, don't think I want to kiss it and hug it. What by romantic, what I mean is it's something which is always, yeah, do. It's always going to be something which is going to be. <laughs> How you doing? Yeah, it's going to be something which is always going to be a lord, and it's always interesting. It'll always be there. And you know what, right? I think with this shot, with this skull experiment, I think if anything, we've opened a can of worms. To be fair. No, we because didn't do that. They done that twenty odd years ago. So we yeah. jumped on what they did. Yeah, we're just piggybacking yeah. it slightly, a little bit, maybe, sort of. Maybe, right? Well, we're, obviously, we've came. We've, we've actually gone five minutes past the end of the show, but I don't care because guess what, we own. Um, so what I'm going to say towards the end of the show is, Kurt, who have we got next week? Uh we have John Lindsay. John is part of Pass. Um, yeah. John does every John's. John will talk. John's great. He'll just he'll 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 just keep talking. He's he's awesome. Always great. You've had him on a couple times, Mo. Yeah. You've worked yeah, with yeah. John. You worked with John. So yeah, we have John yeah. Lindsay on. Um John's working on his doctor right now in I believe psychology. Did you say he's working on his doctor? A doctorate? A doctor, his doctor. You, doc- you doctored what? Doctor. Doctor. You were involved doctor. in the skull experiments. 
stuff. No, that, doctor. You admit to stuff that you sh that you shouldn't. Okay, have been for two guys that never went to university, went to uni, doctorate. Yeah. That's for people like myself who need to go one more up to get my master. I got a master's degree. Who's I need a doctorate. <laughs> 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 Who's doctorate? Is that like? Is that is doctorate like a clown? I'm not gonna cuss. This? I'm not gonna curse. I'm just doctor gonna smile. Did. And I am not gonna give in. I'm just gonna <laughs> smile. Okay. I no, I'm not giving. I've already told one bad joke today, and I think that was bad enough. And that's last week with my mouth. What is no, that noise? I don't know. But all I'm gonna say to you is, don't worry about your mouth, because guess what? Right, we're all in this boat. I do not care if you say it. Say it. If you do enjoy it, just no, we'll get kicked off next week. <laughs> uh, Adam, is there anything you want to add at the end of the show? Uh, I'm just a little bit disappointed that Kate hasn't so far managed to. Drop any bombs? Yeah, I think this is an alien. She doesn't also doesn't realise that I muted him. <laughs> if you unmute him now, he'll go, "Yo, dude, you can fly I swear. <laughs> oh nah, so, I'm sorry, Kate. I didn't mean to. Nah, it's all right, dude. It's all right. Yeah, we're off air right, right. now, anyway, dude. So we're all. No, good. we're live, dude. We're still live. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> <laughs> Way to go, Aaron. Way to go about the skull experiment. Way to say it live. Yeah, we're still live, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Like, dude, no, I've got, I've got nothing to add. It's just, but, you know, lads, listen, thanks. It was a, it yeah, was, it was, it was, great, it was a great show, thing. actually. Um, considering we, you know, I guess bailed out at the last. What did you just say? No, it was very thought provoking, actually, because I didn't think I was going to come out with this attitude. I just I thought I was just going to come out with this bad attitude about the skull experiment, as usual, you know. No. Put it this way, I'm going to try my hardest to try and replicate some of this. I know I'm not a psychic, but I shouldn't have to be a psychic to do so. I'm going to try and if, replicate this. Dude, you're going to draw stick figures, dude, and then what do we do? How do we defend that? <laughs> Stickdeath.com. <laughs> yeah, stickdeath.com is awesome. Stickdeath.com is sick as two sh so, right, Guys, this is oh, where we should have gloves. Thanks very much, guys. Thanks for coming on. Thanks for not swearing, Kurt. Not um, a problem. Thanks for everybody staying impartial, right? And guys, this will be on podcast for tomorrow, but nevertheless, see us next week. Take it easy, guys. Bye-bye. Right. Peace out. Have a peace. Bye.